Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT Evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Timorino1984. On a couple different places, we can look to increase the quality of the display in our viewport. Okay, so I just have a sample scene here. And there's a couple different places that we can go in order to adjust the performance or what we may see here in our viewport. Okay, so right now I'm just using the default rendering. What we could do is come up to Renderer and adjust to the high quality rendering. And that's when I do that, uh, my viewport updates here. We also notice that when I do that, I'm getting some noise here in my uh, geometry. Now if I zoom in, it goes away. But when I'm zoomed out, you can really start to notice some of this uh, noise. So what we could do is to come up and select our camera either by clicking this icon here, going to view, select camera, and that will select the camera that you're currently looking through, in my case, the perspective camera. Let's open up the attribute editor, and under here we'll find our near clip plane and the far clip plane. Now the actual values for this are really going to depend on the size of your scene. Um, but if I were to adjust my near clip plane to something, say, really low, like 0.001, you can see what happens in my viewport is that my the display for my geometry uh, really doesn't look that great. Well, I can fix that by, say, bumping up my near clip plane to 0.1. You notice it looks much cleaner here in my viewport. Okay, so that's just one thing we can do. Now, there's another uh, place we can go to adjust some of the performance settings for our viewport we could come into our high quality rendering and open up the option box here. Notice we'll have a lot of different options for how the high quality rendering will display in our viewport. Things like uh, textures, uh, the bump resolution, we can actually adjust that if we had textures in our scene. In this particular case, I'm um, just primarily using uh, just different surface or different shaders instead of actual file textures, so it won't be affected. Another place we can go would be to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and open up the Preferences. And under Preferences, if we go to Display, we'll once again see uh, the performance area here we where we can adjust things like if we have baked textures in our viewport, um, whether or not or the quality for those. Okay, so those are a couple of different places that we can go actually within Maya to check some of the or how our geometry is being displayed in our viewport. Now if you're still having some issues, the first thing you want to do is to check the Maya system requires to make sure that your card is supported. Okay, So to do that, you'd pull up an uh, Autodesk website and go to the system requirements for Maya. And depending on whether or not you have 32 or 64-bit, uh, we can see that Maya requires a OpenGL graphics card, but a qualified hardware accelerator. Well, what does that mean? Basically, we can come down and look at the certified hardware chart. Now, uh, this is actually updated rather frequently um, as Autodesk continues to do tests and so on. So if you open this up, take a look for your card to see whether or not it's actually supported. And once again, uh, once you um, have verified that your card is supported, you can open up, usually open up the control panel for that card to adjust some quality settings. So uh, my particular case, I have an NVIDIA card here. And if we open up the control panel, we can see that there are some settings we can adjust for the per, uh, to display whether uh, performance, which will actually display much faster, or for quality, which will go a little bit slower. But you notice the uh, little preview here is much smoother and giving much nicer results. So a lot of that uh, will have an effect on how your geometry will display in Maya. Or depending on the graphics card, you may actually have an option to let the 3D application decide and or even possibly a custom profile specifically for Maya in order to allow Maya to really take advantage of your hardware. Okay, so those are just a couple quick things that we can look at uh, to help adjust the quality display in our viewport. 